Hey Peter, you want to do some chemical kinetics in the kitchen? Sure. Okay, you've got your goggles on and gloves on. I would like you to take the store-bought peroxide, hydrogen peroxide solution, and put uh, a, pour a little bit into the flask. I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. Now, take one of those eyedroppers and put um, some detergent solution into the flask. Alright. Okay, is it mixed? Uh -huh. Okay, put it down. Now add one dropper full of the other dropper of the potassium iodide solution that's in that bottle. Yeah. Which dropper should I use? The one without the soap. Right. One dropper full? Mm-hmm. Why don't you add another dropper full? It kind of foams up. Looks like orange juice, kind of. Got really foamy. So is it foaming up? Mm-hmm. Did it yellow. foam up right away? Yeah, pretty... Pretty not as quickly. Uh, not as quickly as what? Um, uh, not as quickly as like it, it 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 foamed a little bit, but then it had to add a little bit more after I stirred it. Let's see. Okay, so let's rinse it out. It is foaming some more, isn't it? Yeah. It's taking some time. So, what concentration peroxide solution was that? What does it say on the label? It says... 3%. Okay, this time, let's use the hydrogen peroxide solution that I brought home from the lab. What concentration is that? Yes. Yes. Thirty point four percent. Okay, so how much more concentrated than the store bought hydrogen peroxide is it? It's uh, ten times more concentrated. Okay. So why don't you pour an equivalent amount of the thirty percent hydrogen peroxide into the flask? Equivalent. The same amount of hydrogen peroxide that you poured in before only oh. make it thirty percent. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Add the same amount of detergent. You try not to get it on the sides. Go straight down the middle. Okay, now add squirt in a dropper full of the sodium of potassium iodide. Oh, oh geez, ah, it's hot, ow, it's hot. It's an exothermic reaction, isn't it? Uh-huh. 
Let's see how well your goggles worked. Very well. Now wash it all off. So what happens is the potassium iodide catalyzes the reaction. Okay. There it goes. You gotta have a full flame still going. I see. The potassium iodide catalyzes the release of oxygen out of the hydrogen peroxide. And the oxygen is what makes the foam, foam. So the reason the flame is burning as well as it is is that the oxygen in the foam is accelerating the flaming, the burning. Look, you can make it spark. Like it's, oh, oh whoa, you see that? Still, oh, it's still burning, burning it's in still there. burning. Uh, like a... So, was the reaction different using 30% hydrogen peroxide? Um, yeah, it was 3%? Waist. It was way stronger and way faster. It was a much faster reaction. It was stronger because there's a lot more hydrogen peroxide. See that? You can see the bacterial colonies quite clearly on the surface of the petri dish. Now let's see if there's any catalase in the bacteria. Why don't you start with the store-bought hydrogen peroxide solution and squirt it on one a collection of something like 10 colonies somewhere on the plate. Just one drop? Yep. Just you know, enough to cover 10 colonies. I'd say that was about 10 colonies. Okay. Can you see anything happening yet? You can see tiny little bubbles but not a lot. Okay, so then let's try the lab hydrogen peroxide. That's enough. You can see slight foaming. More mm -hmm. foaming than before. Quite a bit more, huh? Mm -hmm. So the rate of reaction is faster even when the catalase in the bacterial colonies catalyzes the reaction. So in this picture we can see at the lower concentration of hydrogen peroxide and they're not foaming much at all. The ones with the higher are very foaming, aren't they? Uh-huh. So I wonder if there is anything else in the kitchen that might have catalase in it. One drop. One yep, drop. Go ahead. One drop? Yeah. Several. Anything happening? There you go. Yeah, you can see white. You can see this white foam, tiny little white foam. You can't see it very Same well. Same kind of foam that we saw before, only we don't have any soap here. Mm-hmm. Isn't there quite a bit of foam there? Yeah. Okay, let's see if the reaction that we see with the catalase in the potato is slower with the store-bought hydrogen peroxide. There we can see where the hydrogen peroxide solution is, but it's only 3%. So have you seen any foaming yet? Yeah, there's a little bit, but nothing. It's just much. slow, right? Uh-huh. Eventually it'll foam. Is it foaming now? Yeah, it's foaming. Looks like it is. But it's quite a bit slower than the lab hydrogen peroxide, which is 10 times more concentrated.